Hello Aquarius, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. If I sound a little crazy, I have a cold. No, it's not COVID. <laughs> no, it's not COVID, I promise. But um, I'm a little under, under the weather, but that's not going to stop me from doing what I'm passionate about. So this is going to be a general reading to see who is coming towards you in love. Um, the messages could be interchangeable or vice versa. This could be something happening now in the near future or the future. So please do keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and get started to see who is coming towards you in love. This, this, um, I need to turn this microwave off. Microwave. Give me just a second. You guys need to turn this microwave off. Okay. Yes, I'm ratchet, y'all. I'm ratchet. <laughs> and then you guys probably see my, um, uh, my watermelon in the corner there. Which is super ratchet, but hey. <laughs> Girl, got to get the H2O. Got to get the H2O. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Okay. We are ready now, my loves. Angels, please tap me into the collective energies for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. It's so funny. You're at the bottom of the deck. Let's see who is coming towards us, right? <laughs> In love, Aquarius. Let me shuffle these. Ooh, I haven't used these cards in so long. Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Libra. I said that already. Gemini. Another Aquarius. <clears throat> Let me get some messages. Receiving a message is showing up first. Interesting. Who is coming towards Aquarius in love? Aquarius. Aquarius. Angels, who is coming towards the Aquarian collective in love? Who or what? Who or what coming towards Aquarius in love? Ooh, okay. Someone appears to be waiting for you. What the hell are they waiting for? An etiquette. What the hell? You left quite an impression. Wow. Person feels like you left an impression. See, bottom of the deck is receiving a message. Let's shuffle again. Who or what's coming towards Aquarius in love, please, Spirit? Who or what's coming towards Aquarius in love? Wow. In love. <laughs> Who got this? Sagittarius? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is embrace, change, and attached. So... Clearly, someone could be feeling an etiquette. I mean, it could be vice versa, of course, right? But someone feels that you left an impression on them. And they're waiting for you. Like, bitch, why are you waiting for me? You better make moves. You're going to be waiting for me forever. Isn't that right, Aqua Gang? You know, there's a fucking fly in here that's fucking um, flying around. I really hope it doesn't disturb my peace. Could be a sign. Though. All right. Angels, who is coming towards Aquarius in love? Please spare Aquarius in love. Who's coming towards Aquarius? Who or what's coming towards Aquarius in love? Ooh. Yeah, so you could definitely be dealing with any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Keep in mind, any of these signs could definitely be in your chart. Okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is coming towards you. This is someone who clearly has a lot of passion for you, but that they're not acting on it. You have the Ten of Cups here. Wow, this person really sees you as the Ten of Cups. <laughs> they're in all be motherfucking all this is how they're viewing you you have the empress here wow this person really um feels like you are someone that they would like they could see themselves married to or really being with you have the five of cups this person's missing you page of cups in the reverse see I, okay, this person has um, emotional problems, period. <laughs> they could be very immature emotions. They have trouble expressing their feelings, Aquarius. But it's almost like they want to let their guard down to let this connection shine through. Somebody has their, ha has been having their fucking guard up. I'm not pointing fingers. It could be anybody. It could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. But this person has a lot of passion for you. Four of Wands here. Um, but it's like with the page of cups in reverse, this person has been, um, they want to say something to you, but it's like, they're too shy or it's just, it's, they have like a fear of rejection Aquarius in a way. They do have a fear of rejection. So let's clarify because we have an etiquette here, but they feel like you left an impression on them. 
this person really feels like um, you're someone that they would want to make their wife or they wouldn't want to be married to even if you're a man. Clarify the king of wands. <laughs> Clarify the king of wands. Ooh, six of pentacles. Who is coming towards Aquarius and love? Why is the king of wands here? Ooh, okay. The tower. Okay, interesting. And the king of wands in the reverse. Ooh. So, Aquarius, what I'm picking up is this is someone who wants to make a move. They want to make a move. But as I always tell people, the kings, they really don't make moves. Like, they don't deliver messages. This is someone who's sitting there with a bunch of passion for you. A bunch of um, feelings that they're harboring for you. I was like, they're harboring it so much that they're about to fucking explode. <laughs> Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. Who or what's coming towards Aquarius in love, please? Why is the Ten of Cups here? This motherfucker has a lot of feelings that they're not showing. See? Two of Cups. Come on. Am I making this shit up? This person feels extremely connected to you. And they want to let their guard down. They want to let the connection in. That's what they want. But they're not fucking doing it, right? It's almost like Aquarius, they're waiting for you to kind of like open up the lines of communication it's almost like they don't want to have to do it, although they really want to, because it's kind of like they're a little afraid. They're they're a little nervous of what you're gonna say. Damn, <laughs> you guys got this motherfucker nervous. For some of you, this person may want you to unblock them. You may have even blocked this person. <clears throat> I feel like um, Aquarius. This person is very guarded by nature, but it's like with you, it's hard for them to keep their guard up. It's very hard. Clarify the. You, you knock those walls down. <laughs> you knock them down. So this person does want forward movement with you. They do. Where's the Empress here, please? Two of Pentacles. Why is the Empress here? Who is coming towards Aquarius in love? Why is the Empress here? Ooh, justice in the reverse. Yeah. This person really, um, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. They, they would prefer you to make the move. Eight of Swords in reverse. This person is really nervous. They have low self-esteem, low confidence. Six of Wands in reverse. They're kind of afraid, but they want to communicate. But they're afraid that they're um, you're going to reject them or turn them away. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Five of Cups could be you or this person, but someone's definitely missing the other. I feel like you both are missing each other. They're waiting for you to talk to them. They miss you. They miss you. See, and they want... You guys could be in like some sort of silent period is what I'm picking up. <clears throat> and this person's really worried about what you're going to say to them or if you're even going to respond. So it's like a nervous thing for them is what I'm picking up. Clarify the page of cups in the reverse. Like they want to send you a sweet message. They want to express something. They want to tell you something. They're feeling lonely, Aquarius. See, they're not saying it, but they're feeling very lonely. This is them. Nine of Pentacles. That's them. I mean, Nine of Pentacles is not really okay, like a lonely card, but you could be done with a Pisces, by the way. But this person, they're really in their feelings, but they're not showing that to you. This person's really daydreaming about you. They're daydreaming about you. They're dreaming about you. They love you. Clarify the Seven of Wands in reverse. Who's coming towards Aquarius in love? Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse here? See, they want to talk to you. Page of Wands, they want to talk to you or they want you to talk to them. See, they're missing you. They're feeling very sorry. They're, they're regretting whatever happened between you two, but they're just too pussy to really come at you. See, but it's driving them crazy. They want to say something. Oh my God. Wow, I just feel like this person... Um, they struggle with issues of inadequacy. I'm not really getting that this is someone who's a player. I mean, for some of you, it could be a player for the Himalayas, but I don't really feel like, I feel like this is just someone who is very nervous, like, to approach you. This person may have suffered from, like, bullying in their childhood, or they were, um, it's like they've always felt inadequate. So they're kind of nervous to make that first move, but they really want to. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. <laughs> tell me more spirit who is coming towards Aquarius and more in love sorry tell me more about this who is coming towards Aquarius in love tell me more spirit 
God, Lee, they want to talk to you. Oh my God, Aquarius. So this person could be long distance, okay, for some of you. But you have the three of wands. I'm telling you, this person is waiting on you. It's almost like, for some of them, they could be waiting on you to unblock them. For others of you, this person is waiting on you to, to um, either respond to them or come towards them. So that they can talk. So that they can say what they have to say. Because they're too nervous, Aquarius. Tell me. They're worried that you're going to just reject them and turn them away. Because they know they maybe disappointed you. Who's coming towards Aquarius and love? Tell me more, spirit. <laughs> Who's coming towards Aquarius and love? Tell me more. Wow. This person is waiting on you in the damn two of wands. But this person, um, if you didn't block them, they've been watching you. They've been watching your social media. For some of them, they may have, um, they, they may be watching you through another, damn, they could even be physically watching you if they know where you live or if they know where to find you. They've been watching you, maybe stalking you for some of them, but it's not like a, like a toxic stalking. It's more like a, I'm interested, but I don't know how to tell you or I love you, but I don't know how to approach you because it's almost like you make them nervous, but they do want to start it up. You make them nervous. Why are you guys doing that? <laughs> Why are you guys doing this to this poor this poor fellow, this poor lady, man? Why is the three of wands here? They're nervous. They don't want to get that queen of swords. Why is the three of wands here? They're nervous. See, they want to speak to you. They want to clear the air. They want to talk. They're thinking about all the things that they would say to you, but they just never do it. They never do it. So for them, you opening the lines of communication is better. Because that will show them that you you don't fucking hate their guts, right? Why is it two of wands here? <laughs> King of Cups. Yeah, see? Yeah. For some of you, um, like 1% of you, you might know that this person is like married or something. And they want you to talk to them. You may have blocked them once you found out. All this extra shit, okay? But for the most part, I'm seeing that this is someone who wants to talk to you. But they just don't know how to approach you. They're shy. They're shy. And it's not shy to say that, you know, they won't never say anything or that they're just a, like a pussy. <laughs> but this is just someone who is very, it's like you scare them, but in a good way. This is why you left an impression is here. This person loves you, but they feel an adequate. <laughs> they feel an adequate, so they're waiting for you. Okay? Or you could be dealing with another Aquarius you're waiting for them. I mean, it could be vice versa, okay? It just depends on who the fuck did the blocking. That's what I'm seeing here, Aquarius. The person's waiting on you to shave something to them already. All right? I don't think there's a need to extend this, but let's extend it. How about that? All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aquarius. I love you all, and I will see you guys next time.